What's going on there, guys? We're back with another one, and it's jumping in Boulder. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all watched college game day and big noon kickoff prior to the game. You had Lil Wayne there. You had uh, The Rock, you know, came, did a nice promo. We're going to show Offset pulled up. Lee Corso picked the Buffaloes. You know, there was some controversy surrounding him and Deion Sanders a few weeks ago, but he has picked the Buffaloes with his 400th mascot pick that he's done, and so that's significant that he picked Coach Prime today. Uh, the Buffaloes fans went crazy, but I'm going to show you a lot of things in this video, but the first thing I'm going to show you is what he said he's going to do to Jay Norvell when that handshake takes place after the game. And it's something Stephen A. Smith alluded to earlier this week. So check it out. We're excited. Our kids are really, you know, we had to do a bunch of ESPN videos, and it was great. I loved it. And and uh, But our kids came out of those videos really with a chip on their shoulder. They're tired of all that stuff. They really are tired of it. And I sat down with ESPN today, and I don't care if they hear it in Boulder. I told them I took my hat off and I took my glasses off, and I said, when I talk to grown-ups, I take my hat and my glasses off. That's what my mother taught me. <laughs> so, you know, they're not going to like us no matter what we say or do. It doesn't matter, okay? Well, it was good that he said that. He's not wrong, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Sometimes I see plenty of people talk with their hats on, their glasses on, et cetera, et cetera. And he, he said the words, you want to take over, I do that when I'm talking to my mama or somebody, you know, so not when you're talking to just anybody. But if I was Deion Sanders, I would heed those words. And here's what I would do. I would go out there Saturday, I would bust their living ass, and then I'd go to midfield at the end, and I'd take off my hat and my glasses and say, congratulations, great game. What that handshake gonna be like after you whoop on Colorado State in the middle field? No handshake or any handshake? <laughs> <laughs> Take the hat off. Take the chains off, huh? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I can't wait to see that. <laughs> yes, sir. Here's what I could see. I think, you know, Dion, what Dion is doing right now, let's talk about this just for a second, is we are witnessing something that is not only game-changing in the face of, of college football, but also something that's very special. And what that special thing is, is passion mixed with love, mixed with disruption, mixed with swagger, mm. mixed with confidence. But also, there's, there's an undercurrent here that Coach Prime is doing, is he's changing the face of college football, and he's doing it his way. But he's also doing it in a way that, and this is, this is the hard part, that is galvanizing not only a town mm -hmm. in Boulder, Colorado, yep. but also galvanizing an entire country. Yeah. Wow. You make me cry, man. <laughs> You're all trying to make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> all recruits, did you hear? <laughs> <laughs> we ain't hard to find. It's been 26 years since I picked Colorado. This pick is for my friend, Chris Fowler. Go on, Buffaloes. Here we go. Yeah. Chris Fowler. There we go. This headgear pick. In honor of Chris Fowler, Colorado alum, who will be on the call tonight for Tennessee and Florida. What a morning it's been here in Boulder. Dwayne the Rock. Man, 
answer. It sounds like there's going to be some fireworks in the middle of the field. You know, you look back at Deion Sanders versus Alabama State head coach Eddie Robinson, where he kind of pushed him away at center field. May get similar vibes from this uh, with Jay Norvell. Uh, coach Prime saying he's going to take his hat off, take his shades off and all that at the center of the field. That's going to be some fireworks. And everybody going to be talking about it after the game if it happens, man. Um, you know, looking – Looking forward to see how that's handled. But it's a teachable moment um, for Jay Norvell if it does happen. You know, you, you got to be careful what you ask for. And you can't be mad when you get what you ask for. You asked him to take off his shades and his glasses. So if that's one of your rules and he technically comes out there and, and does it to you, whether it's sarcasm or not, you kind of ask for that. So. Don't be mad when you get what you asked for in front of the world, you know, because everybody's going to see it. See, you could have just had a, a regular send-off at the end of the game, but now you've made it a spectacle, not him. I think it's important to remember that the, his words is, is going to fuel whatever takes place after the fact. So, um, hey, you made a spectacle of it, and, and Coach Prime is just going to participate and do what you said like, the way you said you want to be addressed, you're going to get addressed that way. So, I know a lot of people are going to say it's sarcasm. You're going to have some more people crawl out the woodworks and talk more about it. This thing's going to be ongoing. You're going to hear about it being uh, classless and all that. You know, he's taunting and he's doing this, that, and the third. But it's literally what the man asks for when, when speaking to somebody. And since you asked for that, you're going to get that. But alongside with that, you're going to get that work. And that's going to really be what's hurting you at the core of it. Because if he did it after you won, you wouldn't be mad. But you're probably not going to win, most likely not going to win. Um, so once that work is given out, then that off-field work going to get given out on the field, if you know what I mean. But, hey, man, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.